Mr. Patel, have you concluded your perjury investigation? Uh, not at this time. I, uh, I know Your Honor would want me to be thorough, so our office is considering bringing the matter before a grand jury. Fine. Are you ready on the contempt, Miss Sullivan? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you may proceed. Your Honor, our evidence will show that Mr. Henry's only crime was to obey a jury summons. To hold him in contempt would be to penalize an innocent man for fulfilling a civic responsibility. Unlike most people who shirk jury service with every excuse in the book, Mr. Henry stepped up. To penalize him for that would be to make him a second-class citizen. Excuse me, uh, who are you? Yeah, you, with the busy hands. Uh, I'm Bennett Thompson, Your Honor. What's your purpose here today? I'm covering this case for the New York Examiner, Your Honor. Yes, my client had a marijuana conviction in his past, but how many times must he pay for that same crime? Every time he applies for a job or housing and has to check the conviction That's box, enough, he's paying. That's enough, Counselor. Your Honor? That's enough for today. I am continuing these proceedings until Mr. Patel can bring the perjury charge to a grand jury. Now maybe she'll calm down off of the contempt, have more time to prepare, and I can lobby the DA's office, so thank you. Mm, no, thank you. You know, watching you work is like having a um, front row seat to an all-star game. <sighs>